Uh, you're late. Where do you go? Uh, I um uh, I went to bank for some deposit. Uh, why are you bleeding? My gosh, he really had one of the most ass-kicking gunfight scenes that has ever made in Hollywood history. But guess what we got today? The VFC officially licensed Cybergun Colt M733. So for today's episode, it's gonna be slightly different this time. It is called the Challenger's Program. Basically, if the manufacturer is confident enough with their products, for instance, the VFC Colt M733, they can send it to us and we are going to run it through our Quad Rating System Challenge. Hop up, range, grouping, gas efficiency, shooting speed consistency, and rate of fire. Well, let's test it out. Quick view for today's challenger, the VFC. VFC is known for making beautiful and full trademark toy guns and moreover, the company covers a huge variety of guns. Gotta say, based on our last visit to VFC, I can clearly tell all the VFC folks have some crazy love for guns. However, we've heard some rumors about how VFC only makes the gun look nice but lacking performance. Hmm. To be honest, I haven't had any VFC guns lately. So, I'm super excited to miss bust this. Let's get the party started. Fresh Coat Cyber Gun. So small. Super light, too. Hey, your teapot! <laughs> In the hop-up test, we will adjust the hop-up dial all the way down so the rubber creates the most friction to the BBs and we will load the different weights of BBs from 0.2 gram to 0.48 gram and see how heavy the VFC M733 can lift. Even moving to the new testing facility, <laughs> the soul of the team <laughs> is still the same. <laughs> Let's begin the hop up test. And Lewis applied his skills once again to make sure all the BBs lined up nicely. It's impressive he did all that in 5 minutes. 0.2 gram all the way to 0.48 gram. Let's test out the gun. Are you ready? Okay, I'm ready. Cool. Fire it in 3, 2, 1, go. 0.2, 0.23. Zero point four three, zero point four five, and zero point four eight. Yep. Okay. 
I'm that's pretty it. sure it fires all the way from 0.2 gram to 0.4 gram. I think that's it. We were surprised how heavy this gun can lift, and in order not to test out all of the weights, uh, excuse me, in order to make sure if the gun really lifts this heavy, we ran it through the test a few more times. Now, four or four gram, just in case. Fire in three, two, one. The ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Yep, that's. That's it. That's confirmed. It's confirmed. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, come on, hurry. Wait. 0.48 gram, it is. Not saying I'm going to shoot 3.6, right? Who said that? In the range test, we will shoot Jimmy at each distance from 10 meters, 20 meters, 30 meters, and so on. Then we will line up the effective shots to draw the trajectory graph and see the maximum effective range out of this VFD M733. Oh, what? All right, ready? Nice. The um the hop out adjustment is actually right here, similar to the GHK version. This is currently the V2 version for VFC. Um, they did a pretty good job here. They actually had the indicator labeled very clearly. Here's the plus, and that's the minus. So if you want to decrease your hop up, just dial then towards the decrease sign. And if you want to increase it, just dial then to the plus sign. Okay, 30 meters, 0.2 gram. Fired in three, two, one. Go. From the trajectory graph, you can see at 30 meters, the shots became a bit unstable. However, the maximum range can still reach up to 70 meters. Go. And through the test, we observed that with 0.28 gram, 0.36 gram, and 0.43 gram, the maximum range out of those BBs covered the chest the belly and the legs after a long process all right it's the end of the day we shot the hell out of this thing but some small problems starts to occur as you can see right now it is really really sticky it's not it is not resetting properly like i have to kind of like manually push it did you see that i have to manually push it for it to reset And yeah, that, that, that really is a problem. In comparison to an OK one, the reset is very clear, but this one now is very mushy. If it happens on your gun, there's a way to fix it. All you need is just a little file. Once you open it up, you can take a look. As you can see that, oh God, it's, it's so worn out. That's what happened to the, the hammer because we, we, we shot like roughly 6,000 rounds on it already. So the way to fix it is use this file and at the contact point, don't, don't file it too much, just file it like a few times, fine tune it. Try it. So you can see that we got this part filed off and um, uh, now the reset should be fine. And the gun is good to go. Again, thank you Jess for all the hard work. For the grouping test, we will set our target at the range of 20 meters and test the accuracy for each weight of the BBs and see how small the shot group is from our VFC M733. While setting up our grouping test, Brendan was deafened by the gun. So we figured, what? why not test out how loud this gunshot is? <coughs> That's used the VFC 1911 Ultra Carry as the benchmark, 88.6 decibel. And then Lewis's GHK AK, 115.9 decibel. Finally, the VFC's M733, 121.6 decibel. This makes a 30 decibel difference, which is equal to firing 1911 Ultra Carry at the same time. Really? Oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey. All right, in three, two, one, go. Based on the test, we can tell the grouping is wide and somewhat unstable out of this M733, especially with lighter weights of BBs. But the grouping improved as we switched to heavier weights of BBs. Well, I think with some love and some fine tuning, the grouping will be improved. Apparently, based on the 0.32 gram BB test, uh, we actually had a, had a double feeding issue. What we found out is that if you charge too much gas into the magazine, it causes double feeding. Check it out. Okay. Fired in three, two, one, go. Okay. See? See that? Oh, okay. Yep, not More feeding. Pain. Yep, yep, you see that? So what, what you have to pay attention with is that don't charge too much gas, otherwise this would happen. As we compare the full auto grouping performance with light and heavy weights of BBs, it looks like the heavier weights of BBs perform a more precise grouping on full auto. If you don't have a deep pocket, I be playing with the money like whoa. Still got a lot. Still be cool with lighter BBs. VFC is known for building beautiful guns with trademarks, and this gun out of the box feels solid and we find very minimal wobbles. Most importantly, VFC is not afraid to make changes and improvements. As we exam through this M733, we can see some good attention to details when it comes to designing the gun. And my personal favorite is the magazine design. Lightweight and yet super easy to put together. Hey, action! Is it, is it ready? The gas efficiency test. We will fire this M733 in 10 degrees Celsius until it stops functioning with a single charge of gas. Then calculate the shots fired and see how many magazines this stock gun can fire in cold. First, weigh the empty magazine Okay. Charge it till it's full. And 2,000 years later. I think that should be it. That's... And wait it again. 22.4 gram of gas inside the mag. Come on. <laughs> Temperature of the cat is 30 degrees Celsius. All right, let's see the mag. It should be ready. Woo. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's start the test. <clears throat> quick, quick, quick. Okay. Ultimate <laughs> safety. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you okay? Oh, okay. Should be alright. Okay, let's, let's do it. Hey. Okay. Hey, okay. ready? Ready. one shot it's it's all right it's that means you can fire 1.7 max under 10 degrees celsius and if we do the math one grand of gas can fire 2.2 shots the rate of fire test let's see how many rounds are spit within a second all right now the rate of fire test um i don't know who that guy is but i don't like him because he's got eight packs i only have one so i'm gonna destroy it it's the rate of fire test all right i'm ready 
One, two, three, eleven, twelve, thirteen shots in a second. For the consistency test, we will set our VFC N733 into the quad chamber and set the temperature to low, medium, and high. Fire 10 shots and see how the muzzle velocity changes. 26 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, I think we're gonna start the uh, regular temperature test. Let's see how it goes. I'm gonna corner one. up okay I think we're good to go now just have to work on my aim again am I shooting straight <laughs> probably probably okay all right fire in three two one go let's take a look at the result the average velocity was 120.5 meters per second and the maxima minus the minima was 4.4 meters per second. And followed by the core temperature, 10 shots average was 106.9 meters per second. And in high temperature, the average velocity increased to 138.7 meters per second. And yep, Chai Chai feel really comfortable on this test. It is now time of the day. Let's check out the final result for VFC M733. Here comes another heavy lifter. The VFC N733 can lift up to 0.4 gram BBs, 11 points. The adjustment is easy and the clicks are intuitive. 11 points for the range test. This gun is effective up to 70 meters. However, we got quite a few flyers during the test. Also, we ran into some double feeding issues as well as the sticky trigger problem. Both problems are fixable, just charge the gas less than 4 seconds and use the file to fine-tune the hammer sear slightly. The grouping high score was made from 0.43 gram BBs, receiving 6 points. The VFC M733 has some inconsistent shots throughout all different weights BBs. Not sure if this is the bucking design or it came from something else. If you guys know the cause, please leave it down in the comment section. 51 solid shots at 10 degrees Celsius, receiving a good 9 points. However, during the test, we had the feeling that this gun consumes more gas per shot. Do you think that is the case? The rate of fire is not crazy for the VFC M733, 13 shots. Shooting speed consistency had an average of 5.96 meters per second difference, receiving 5 points. And this gun's FPS output does increase under hot temperature. So if you have modified your inner barrel, gotta pay some attention when you play it in the hot weather. 8.4 points received by the VFC M733. And this is the first VFC rifle I received in my life. Hooray! Assuming all the VFC problems and rumors I heard from the communities are true, I really think this gun didn't perform that disagreeable. Operating the gun feels solid and mechanical, and I did enjoy the hard recoil and the loud noises made from this gun. Moreover, the VFC N733 do accept a whole lot of VFC AR aftermarket parts. This really makes me want to set up another VFC AR and mod the shit out of it. In conclusion, demonstration of how easily it is to get it clean. It is clean. We got our good friend Puff Dino. The best gas out there in the market. What was it? Wait. The whole time. Who is your Julie? Huh? Julie, Julie, Mel, Julie. Yeah. Sewing, man. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay.
gonna, I'm gonna sit on you. Move. Three, two, one. All right, that's it for the episode today. Hope you guys liked it. And thank you, BFC, for submitting us your brand new N733. We had a whole lot of fun just to test it out. And for manufacturers out there, if you are confident enough, please feel free, contact us, and we will run your new guns through our quad grading system, the Challengers Program. And last but not the least, check out these two bad boys. These are our first two products, the quad workout shirt and also the quad trucker hat. We are working our ass off just to get those ready for you guys and those will be ready very soon. So make sure you guys stay tuned and we will see you guys very soon. Super light too. Now, the user experience, what do you think? It feels like all the springs are really strong. Yeah. Like the hammer spring is really strong, the recoil spring is really strong. And uh, I mean, it, it gives the gun a really nice and mechanical feel. So I guess if I were to own this gun, I would probably play with it a lot in my room. However, something to pay attention is, um, you might need to go get some lock ties uh, that, you know, pretty much put it like, uh, around the rings and perhaps somewhere that you have the screws on because yes, this Check gun this out. The, the gas tube pin came out on my Oh shit, like I use the same gun on Sunday like Maybe, maybe, maybe I can tap it in since the flash hider is kind of like Very unprofessional, but <laughs> Might want to secure everything <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to talk about guns this on serious I specifically like the mechanical feel to it like the, the trigger reset and everything it just feels really good to shoot and yeah. operate. Makes you want to shoot it. Yep. Uh, accuracy wise, it's <coughs> probably not the best. Uh, range is pretty good. Oh yeah, sure. And because the gun is so light, you can actually feel a lot of the recoil. Yep, it, yep, it yep. kicks quite a bit. It, long and short, in conclusion, would you buy this? Would I buy this gun? I think so, yeah. It's, it's a fun gun to play with. I think I would definitely upgrade the hop up in order to feel this. Yeah, I would change the bucking for sure. Except for the sticky trigger, it hasn't had any catastrophic failure yeah. but then again this is not a long-term user uh, user review so it's not like we shot tens of thousands of BB through it yep. so we can't say anything about its durability but um, so far it's held up pretty well